Yo, what is up everyone? My name is Dom and we're here to talk about unusual options activity. Alright everyone, uh, disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. The statements made in this programming are solely, solely the opinion of the show and are not, and are not a specific, specific, specific <laughs> inducement to make an investment. One must perform their own due diligence and realize that all investments carry risk. There's no guaranteed profit. Alright, uh, you'd think I'd be get better at saying that by now. Jesus, I say it every video. So, uh, first one I want to bring up is you, 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 you. Now, this is uh, energy fuels. Uh, now, this is a spec. This is a speculative play here. Uh, you know, there's about 12,000 of these contracts traded, uh, these May 7 strike calls. Uh, now, I saw some people coming in and, you know, buying these things right in the morning. Uh, so, you know, we were able to get in at a, uh, 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 you know, we were able to get in right in the morning. Uh, and, you know, we kind of uh, 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 rode this thing up a little bit throughout the day. You know, it really hasn't moved up a whole lot uh, since where we got in. But, you know, this is kind of a cheaper bet here. You know, these uh, option contracts, you know, are only 100 bucks here. You know, I went with a straight call. But, you know, something good to uh, always calculate here is, you know, it's cheap. You know, a $90 option, you know, that's pretty cheap. But, you know, look at the stock price here. You know, the stock price is, uh, you know, Call it 650, and you know, look at the implied volatility here. It's a uh, 102%. Now, I'm not saying this to you know deter anybody from this trade. You know, it's just something good that I always do. You know, so I I always take you know this option contract is say $90, and then you divide it by the stock price 685. Uh, one second, divided by 685. You know that comes out to be 13 percent of the of, of of the stock price here. So you know. $100 is not really a whole lot to put on an option contract, but you know you just have to be aware that you know you're you know you're paying about 13% of the stock price to get into this trade. You know to control 100 shares, you know you're paying $90 versus buying 100 shares. You know buying 100 shares would be you know $680. So, you know this is a, this is an expensive option relatively, but you know a $90 option is cheap. You know relative to the stock price for this one, you know you see the high implied volatility here. You know you divide out you know what the option costs you know versus you know just buying the stock outright. So this is a very expensive uh, call option here. You know relative to the stock price here. Uh, but you know this is a flyer you know i didn't get very many of these ones you know this is a flyer for me you know if you take a look at this chart here you know energy fuels you know you can just tell by the name that it's a speculative play uh you know it's just alternative fuels you know other than gasoline and stuff you know this thing has had a huge run here you know it, you know it, it's high looks like it's almost eight you know it's had you know a little bit of a pullback but, you know they started aggressively buying these calls in the morning so you know i took a flyer on this one all right uh, next one I want to bring up is Disney. Uh, now I brought this one up on the channel before. Uh, you know, I just want to let you guys know that there was some more buying in here. You know, I also wanted to, uh, you know, another reason why I brought up this one is just, you know, go through the analysis here. So, you know, as you can see here, uh, 14,559 contracts. You know, two orders here. One's a sell order here. This this red one I'm highlighting. The other one is a buy order here. Now, if you go to the, to the April 16th, 160 calls, remember this 14,000 number, you know, you see 14,000 here in the volume, you know, which adds up, and then you see 15,000 here, open interest, and then, you know, you go to these October 160 strike calls, you know, there's another 14,000, uh, you know, and then we go here, you see 14,000, yet open interest of only 51. So since the open interest is only 51 and they and they bought 14,000 contracts, it had to be a opening order because you can't close 14,000 contracts when there's only 51 contracts out there outstanding. Now when you go to these April, uh, I think it was April 16th, what was it again? Yeah, April 16th. Uh, you know, I think this is a buy to close order or a, 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 a sell to close order here. So I think they're selling the April 16th 160 calls and they're rolling into the October uh, uh, 160 calls. So I think they're, you know, they're, they're, they're getting out of their April 16th position and then they're rolling it up to the October ones. Uh, you know, that is super bullish. You know, I like to see somebody, you know, who was clearly right for these April options because, you know, Disney stock has moved up, you know, quite significantly. I don't know when they got in this trade. I'm just, you know, uh, 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 speculating that they had a nice profit. So, you know, 
I brought up Disney on the channel before. You know, I talked about people uh, uh, shorting some puts in here. So, you know, I we did, uh, uh, you know, when I brought this one up on the channel, I think it was around, you know, 183 or so. You know, I brought up people shorting puts. You know, I said that I was going to buy the stock. And, you know, the next day uh, I bought the stock. Uh, so, you know, we are in Disney. You know, I feel comfortable buying the stock in Disney. But, you know, this is a huge order here. You know, this is a, like, a, like, like a $40 million order that these people uh, put on these they put 45, like 40 something million dollars on these October 160 calls. I definitely like following somebody who uh, uh, who puts that kind of money on the trade, and I'm definitely staying in the stock that I own when I see somebody putting that kind of money down. So thanks for everyone who's been subscribing. I really appreciate it. Make sure to keep the subscribing up, and we'll see everyone in the next one.